Hello, everybody, and welcome to Toddler Storytime. My name is Sam, and I am joining you from the Children's Library at our central location today, and we're going to be talking all about feelings. We've got some great songs and a wonderful story. We'll do a little reflecting ourselves. So let's go ahead and dive in, friends. We're going to start, like we always do, with our Hello song. And if you've done story time with me before, you know that our Hello song starts by waving our hands hello, just like we're saying hi to a friend. Can you show me how you wave hello? Very good. We're going to take our hands and we're going to wave them to the beat here. Very nice. And we'll sing, hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Wonderful, everybody. And you'll probably notice that we asked a question, right? A question about feelings. We asked, how are you today? How are you feeling? Should we take a minute to think about it? Maybe if you'd like to join me, we can close our eyes and sit nice and still and comfortably. And we could take a deep breath in through our noses like we're smelling a flower. Nice and slow. And then we can blow it out like we're blowing a candle. That's such a relaxing breath. Let's try one more time. We'll breathe in like we're smelling a flower. And breathe out like we're blowing out a candle. And maybe now that your body is feeling calm, you'll notice how you feel in your heart or in your mind. Now today, I am feeling a little bit anxious. I feel like my body is sitting still, but my brain is running around and around and around. Sometimes it feels a little stressful, but that's okay. Not all feelings feel good all the time, huh? I wonder how you're feeling today. If you're with your grown-up, maybe you could let them know. And if you're feeling extra super nice, you could also ask your grown-up how they're doing today. All right, friends, we will finish up our hello song by clapping our hands. And again, we'll do that to the beat and we'll sing. Hi, hello, and clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Hi, hello, and clap your hands, clap your hands today. Wonderful, everybody. Thank you so much for singing that hello song with me. And we're gonna dive right into our story today. This is a pretty new one. And on the cover right away, I see a little one, a little kid and a grown up. And it looks like they really love each other. They seem really happy to be together. And this one is called Come Closer, Tatita. And the author is Impala. Oh, Imapla. I read that wrong, Imapla. And it looks like they did the illustrations and the words, that's very cool. So let's take a look and see what's going on in Come Closer, Tatita. When I was born, you were there. That must be the child on the cover as a little tiny baby. I wonder who the grown-up is. You are my grandma, my tata. Tata, tatita, tata. It looks like this little one loves their grandma very, very much. You took me everywhere. It looks like they're on a fun adventure. Has a grown up ever taken you on a fun adventure before? It looks like maybe they're at a garden of some sort with all of these flowers around. Very pretty. Oh, but now you are very far away, Tatita. On all the pages before, that Tatita's there, right there, right there, right there. But here, Tatita's gone, the page is black. When I look at this page and I see little blue dots falling like tears, it makes me think that the child in the book might be feeling a little bit sad. 
Let's see if that's true. Too far away to see you. Did you notice that Tata has no eyes? No eyes because our little one can't see her. Too far to touch you. Tata's hands are gone. She can't be seen. She can't be touched. Too far to kiss you. Oh, that is so sad. Too far to hear you. Natata has no ears either. No eyes, no lips, no ears, no hands. Too far to smell you. Sometimes it's nice to smell the smell of somebody that we love, huh? But we can't smell Tata. She's too far away. That sounds really hard. Too far away. You're not here anymore. Yeah, and the page is, is empty. I wonder where Tata is. Maybe she's moved. Maybe she's sick. I don't know. I really miss you, Tatita. Oh, and our little child is crying. It sounds like we were right. They're feeling a little bit sad. I look everywhere for you. Do you think this little one will be able to find Tata? Let's see. And then I look into my heart and I can see you again. That is so beautiful. It sounds like even though Tata is not there anymore, if this little one looks into their heart, they can remember times when they saw Tata. I listen to my heart and I can hear you again. I can hug you again. I can smell you again. That sounds really wonderful. Even if we can't touch or smell or hear Tata outside, we can inside our hearts. And I can savor the memories of you again. Now I know that I carry you with me everywhere. There's this child's little heart and they're carrying Tata in their heart. Tata. Tatita, Tata. The end. Wonderful reading, everybody. And grownups, if you're here with me, this is a little bit of a heavy book, right? We're dealing with the topic of grief and making sense of grief when we've lost someone who up until now has always been there with us, right? Um, that's a very complicated emotion to process. So I love this book as a tool to start to think about uh, what are the types of things that we miss when we miss somebody? How does it feel in our bodies? And how can we help ourselves feel better, right? So when we read books like this with our little ones and we talk about how the characters in the book are feeling and why, that helps our little ones build emotional intelligence as they make connections to their own feelings in their own life and see maybe how certain characters are dealing with those same feelings so that they can start to feel a little bit better too. Huh? Very nice, everyone. We are going to wrap up today with a super fun rhyme. This one's called Feelings, Feelings. And we've got a little challenge today. We are going to learn some ASL or American Sign Language. And if you've ever done any American Sign Language before, you'll know it is a real language that uses the hands, face, and body to communicate. And people who are deaf tend to use American Sign Language, but anybody can learn it. So we're going to learn a few terms to help us talk about our feelings. And we're going to start with the sign for feelings. So for this one, we'll take our hands and we'll dip our middle finger down like this and brush it up on our chest. Feelings. Very nice. One feeling that you might have is happy. Very similar to feelings, but we'll keep our hand nice and flat and brush it up on our chest. Happy. Very good. And it, the key for ASL is we have to use our faces too, right? So when you sign the word happy, you want to make sure you're making a happy face. On the other side of things, when we sign, sad. We wanna make sure our face shows that we're sad. So we'll take our hands and we'll pull them down, sad. 
Very nice. And finally, we'll learn scared. Oh, like we're shaking and shivering because something is spooky. We'll take our hands like this, put them in front of our chest and shake them back and forth. Very good. And the song goes like this. I'll do it once and then I'll do it one more time so you can go follow along with me. And we'll sing. Feelings, feelings are different every day. Sometimes I'm happy and I want to play. Sometimes I'm sad and weepy or scared when things get creepy. Let feelings be, cause now I see that feelings are part of me. Very nice, everybody. And we do things like use ASL in story times because when we are putting together vocabulary with these movements, it helps us reinforce that vocabulary and the meaning of it. So this is actually supporting spoken language development as well. But for pre-talkers, it can also be a great way for us to express how we're feeling to our caregivers even though we might not have the language yet. Um, so ASL is a really great tool to use to communicate with our little ones. Uh, and feelings words are really good ones to know. So let's try that one more time. We'll sing. Feelings, feelings are different every day. Sometimes I'm happy and I want to play. Sometimes I'm sad and weepy or scared when things get creepy. Let feelings be, cause now I see that feelings are part of me. Well done, everybody. Thanks so much for singing and reading and talking and playing with me today. We are wrapping up our story time and it is time to say goodbye. So we are gonna sing the same goodbye song we always do. And if you've been with me before, you know for this one, just like our hello song, we wave our hands back and forth to the beat, just like we're waving goodbye to a friend. And we'll sing. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye, my friends, goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Thank you so much again for joining me, friends. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day filled with all kinds of books and learning and fun, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.